Well, snow and heavy wind and more cold in the forecast delayed the official opening of Janice Place that heaven scheduled for tomorrow, uh, postponed one day to Saturday. But Vancouver Island families who desperately need a place to stay near Victoria General Hospital will be moving in on schedule. The magical 10,000 square foot home away from home will open its doors just as Janice Hedroff, the pint-sized super fundraiser behind it all, celebrates her 18th birthday. CTV's Andrew Johnson has more on opening day and what Janice has planned. Gentle. Hey. hey Janice Edroff spending the afternoon with her friend Chicken Legs. No, Don't gentle. ask. But tomorrow she turns 18 hey, and will be in very different company. Relax and do whatever party at my own house. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Maybe hang out with the premier? Yeah, I'm also doing that in the morning. Just normal stuff? Yeah, just normal. Just typical Janice Edroff type thing. <laughs> The next day, she'll help open up the 10,000-square-foot, 10-bedroom Janice Place next to Victoria General Hospital. 600 families traveling to the capital region for medical care will stay here every year, grateful for shelter and support when they need it most. It feels like a home, and people had tears in their eyes describing to us how what a warm environment it will be for the families that are going to be needing the house. You can say Janice Place belongs to all of Vancouver Island, or at least thousands of people who live here. This this place was built with the help of more than 2,200 gifts, ranging from a few dollars to one million dollars. The first family moves in on Monday, but we can't show you around inside until the weekend. It's just a wonderful place. Well, let's go inside and take a look. <laughs> uh, we'll have the uh, grand opening on Sunday, and we're hoping to, or Saturday, we're hoping to keep everybody in suspense until then. <laughs> Janice has, of course, taken a good look around a few times and didn't want to leave the media room. Big screen TV with surround sound and subwoofer built into the wall, and like best room in the house, I gotta say. The grade 12 student living with neurofibromatosis, which causes tumors to grow off nerve endings in her spine, is busy trying to catch up in school, but will make time to visit Janice's place whenever she can. I'm going to be going there every few days because I think it's important to be there, and I like helping out with kids, being there for support and everything. But before all that, there's the matter of turning 18, becoming an adult, and hopefully a later curfew. Our neighborhood's safe. Nothing's maybe a king or cougar too, but you know. Nothing Janice Edroff can't handle. Andrew Johnson, CTV News, Saanich.